Successful Nature Hike Leading As a naturalist, your nature hike can enable participants to interface with the natural world. This video will give you the steps to leading a successful nature hike. Before the hike, you should plan on tailoring your hike to your audience. Winnie will lead a group of adults today. Nature hikes often have themes. The audience for this insect and spider hike is families with young children. Promote your hike in newsletters or program calendars. Use social media to connect the public to your nature hike. Winnie is previewing the hike route to find natural features to share with the public. She's using a field guide to identify this plant that has a seed that floats. Winnie's using the Nature Center Library to research facts about seeds to prepare for her hike. Create an outline of features to interpret along the trail. You also need to make sure your hike route is free of obstacles and poisonous plants. Gather all the equipment and props you need in your backpack. A first aid kit is a necessity. During the hike. Arrive early and meet the group. Hi. Hi. I'm Winnie. I'm the naturalist here. I'm Alan. Oh, great, Alan. You're here for the hike? Yes. Okay. Looking forward to it. Answer any questions. Oh, yes. Yeah. Can I go along? Sure. You can join us. Do I need anything? Uh, no. All you need is some good shoes, which you have on, and I have some field guides that we'll be using on the trail, so we're all set. Great. Thanks. All right. Tell everyone the theme or the purpose of the hike. Today we're going to take a look at seeds uh, while on our hike. Uh, we're going to look at the different kinds that are here. Uh, some of them hitchhike, some of them travel by wind, and some of them travel by water or gravity. Describe the trail. Let everyone know when the hike will end. All right, so we're going to head down the trails. The trails are pretty level um, and, and pretty easy to walk on. It'll be about an hour, and then I'll lead you right back to the parking lot. Set the ground rules for your hike. All right, so um, as we're on the, on the trail, even though we're a small group, I'm going to be the leader, so I'll still stay towards the front because if we need to veer off on a trail, um, then you know where to go. So I'm going to be in the, in the front. Um, and then one thing is we want to stay on the trail. The trails are for us to walk on so we're not destroying things off to the side. Um, and our main rule of thumb here today is we're going to just leave our footprints and take only pictures and memories with us today. Keep the group together at all times and make sure everyone can hear you at each stop. It'll take about an hour today for the program. Um, Encourage the use of the senses. Okay, so this is a spice bush and the way I know that is it has got nice silvery uh, branches, it has these lenticels, and another way I can tell this plant is by the smell. So let's scrape it. Sarah, do you want to smell it? Oh, that's spicy. Use the Socratic or discovery questioning approach to involve the group. That's spicy. Yeah, why do you think um, this tree has a smell to the bark after you rub on it? Maybe a deterrent? It is, right. So what would it deter? Well, I know the deer insects? eat everything. Right, deer. insects. This is a spice, but so we do get a lot of insects that eat leaves and the plants need. There will be teachable moments. It is okay to divert from your planned program when a participant gets distracted by a bird. Hey, what's that? What's that sound? Oh, it's a pig. Is that a woodpecker? You know what? I think you're really close. Uh, woodpeckers. We do have lots of woodpeckers that live here in the forest. Lastly, don't be afraid to let the group know you don't know everything. Um. Gosh. Well, I have a book. Uh, we can look it up to see if it is a woodpecker. Um, these are the different kinds that we have. So let's see, who could it be? Well, there's, on the thing it says, you know, a high sick, or it could be a flick, 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 or it could, the sound could be kick, 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 kick. So we just have to know, you know, just match up the sounds. I'm going to look it up on my iPhone. Oh, perfect. We can get an audio sound. 
Is that the sound? Hmm? Yeah, that's it. It is. Yeah. So it, that is a pileated woodpecker that we just heard. Concluding the hike. Nature games enable hike participants to review environmental concepts learned. Ah, oh, this looks like it has wings. I bet I'm blowing the wind. This is a burdock seed. This would cling to an animal. What uses the sun to produce energy? Plants. Plants. Plants, right. The tree has leaves and it makes its own energy. Uh, what might eat the plant? Right, after the leaves fall, the earthworms will eat the, um, the leaves. All right, if one thing, or if there was no predator, something happened and the, the predator got poisoned or taken out, then there's gonna be um, too many salamanders. Um, the sun powers everything. So if, without the sun, then you know there's no tree, there's no food for all of us. So this is the web of life. So. At the end of the hike, thank everyone for coming. It is also a good time to publicize upcoming events. All right, thanks for coming out on the hike. I hope you guys had fun and you learned a lot. Um, and then just a reminder, we have our calendar and this has all of our future programs in it. So I'll give you guys each a program Thank you. so that you can sign up for a different hike. Thank you. All right, and you can always feel free to email or call me if you have any questions.